Hi, my name is Chocolate Desire, and um, hello everyone. Hi. Today's video is going to be um, just me talking about how much money I have spent being pierced in total over the years. Um, I'm American, and I actually technically started getting pierced at like almost infancy. <laughs> because we have a tendency to like pierce ears when you literally have no memory and you cannot make the choice yourself to pierce yourself. Um, so my first couple of piercings were like probably in 1990, 1991. I have no recollection of them. So today I'm gonna talk about the pierces, pierces? Oh my God, I've been in Japan too long. The piercings that I chose to do and I paid money for with my own hard-earned cash and how much they cost in total um, so let's let's go back go all the way back in the way back machine probably the first piercing that I got was when I was a teenager um, I waited until I was 19 um, not that my parents are strict they're not very strict at all actually especially compared to like people who actually are like kind of crazy um but they didn't allow me and my siblings to do a whole bunch of stuff that we wanted to do and i honestly think it was like a um they didn't want us to do anything and it was just like a phase or something that it turned out we regretted didn't like didn't want but couldn't change and I actually feel like that is probably the right thing yeah I probably can honestly say that if I had a child who is like middle school age I would have the same exact hard line no that my parents did but once they hit high school and once I hit high school, they like loosened up a little bit, but not like pierce your face level loosened up. And it's against the school rules technically as well. Um, yes, a lot of my classmates did break those school rules. A lot of us did have facial piercings and wild hair colors and this, that and the other. And it's not even that you get in trouble for breaking those rules. No, it's a public school. They weren't really going to do anything. Just, um, it makes your life so much easier <laughs> if you have like less of a target on your back for administrators and teachers who possibly are bored and suck. That's not to say every teacher is bored and sucks. Like, I'm technically a teacher. And, you know, we don't really have a dress code for students, but even if they were breaking it, I can't say that I would be, like, going out of my way to be like, oh, my God, like, your skirt is a mill Skirt? That is a thing. Your skirt is a millimeter too short. Oh, my God, we got to go to the principal's office. No, no, I wouldn't give a fuck, quite frankly. But anyway, I was firmly out of high school. I was... In college my first year of college I did take a gap year and me and my roommate had actually become friends after a few months which is that is so lucky for me like super lucky because I probably would have been like the loneliest bitch on campus <laughs> but yeah we became friends and she took me out to where she's from to meet this like her friends and family and stuff and we went and got pierced while we were out there and I'll never forget it because the guy's name is Seven and I think that is such a cute name and it's also like Andre 3000's son's name is Seven and I just think it's so it is such a cute name I if I could I would probably name a baby Seven I'm not gonna lie um but anyway we went out there and I got my tongue and navel pierced right that is a huge jump from like lobes to tongue that is a lot I know I know it's a lot 
Um, but I did it, honestly, because of the movie Rat Race. And it was quite expensive. If I remember correctly, at the time I spent... I remember spending like hundreds of dollars when I was there. How much did I spend? Hmm. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say I probably spent $75 for each hole. Now at the time, and even right now, a lot of people look at me like I am fucking crazy if I talk about like the money that I spend. I think it is worth it to be in a clean studio with a person who knows what they're doing as opposed to like at your house on the couch with your friend who doesn't know to wear gloves. Yeah, we don't want, we don't like hepatitis, babe. Hepatitis is not the move. I think it's worth the money, so I will spend the money. Uh, but yeah, that day, I think I spent $150 or more, honestly. So we're going to go with the low ball estimate here. We're going to say I spent $75, $75. But that doesn't feel right. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go with the low ball of $150. Because that feels close enough. And then after that, I got my lobes done. And generally in the US, lobes are going to run you about 25 bucks. At least when I was in school, that's what lobes cost. So now we add like one and two lobes. That's 50 bucks for that time. So we're up to $200. Let's add that on my calculator. I have my, my calculators out. The next thing I got pierced after that was probably um, my ears. Like, yo. I was on like some different shit. <laughs> I got six piercings at the same time. I know, I know that is some hardcore shit. And it was, it was so bad. It was so bad. Um, the like my head hurt so much on both sides, and it was like it was a cold, windy winter day. So if I took off my hood when they were fresh, just like explosion of pain radiating from both sides of my head. It was insane. I do not recommend that you do that. Like, unless you're like a hardcore ass bitch like me, don't do it. Um, and I'm not even that hardcore. Like I'm saying that like as a joke, I, I am soft. Okay. The fact that I got through that night is amazing. Like I didn't even know what side to sleep on. It was ridiculous. Um, but anyway, let's get to the prices, the prices. Um, again, that third one would have, wait, wait one, this is birth. This is an, oh, wait, <laughs> this one is something that my family did. This one uh was 25 bucks and this was 25 bucks too because it is still technically my lobe but uh the three that i did i don't know i did this one here this one that last one at the top and then i went up in like a triangle so this one and this one and cartilage piercings are generally 50 bucks each um, so for one ear, it would have cost $125, if I'm not mistaken, one ear would have been $125, but the piercer was so cool that they gave me a discount because like I was getting 175 times two worth of piercings in one night. And even the piercer was like, yo, that is wild. <laughs> but um, yeah, I took it like a champ. They gave me a discount. So uh, let me, let me, let's see. 50 plus 50 is 125. No, 100. And then plus the 25 for the load is like there. So 125. Technically, I should add another 125 bucks, but like I said, I got like this wild discount because I was doing so much at the same time 
And even like the people who work there in the shop were like, bitch, <laughs> that is that is wild. That is cool. The fact that you did this and didn't bleed everywhere, you didn't scream, you didn't cry is amazing. Like, here's your gold star. Good on you. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to add 125. I only paid half, um, but we're at 325 now. Then after that, I asked a friend to take me to get my nostril done right here, which opening that was easy. Taking care of it was a bitch. The, those irritation bumps, oh, even now. I have problems with just like random irritation bumps coming. They're not as big as they used to be, but it's still like, God damn it. And um, nostril is cartilage. It probably would have cost me about 50 bucks. That sounds about right. It wouldn't have been crazy expensive, but it wouldn't have been like $25 cheap. 50 is what it was. So we are up to 375 now. And then the next piercing that I got would have been in Japan. The next piercing that I got was a nipple piercing. And now that I'm in Japan, the prices, like the price of the brick went way up. Like way, way up. A nipple piercing here, um, that ran me $100 flat. And then the next thing that I got would have been my navel. I got my navel done again because the other one rejected navel also would have run me about 100 bucks flat so now we're up to 575 for all of my piercings um immediately after that i got not immediately but pretty soon after that i got this septum piercing which was 70 dollars so i'm up to 645 dollars i got the other nipple done next so plus 100 we're up to 745 now. Uh, so after my, both my nipples, my navel, and my septum were done, I went back to my ears. And I started piercing the cartilage in my ears because that's, that's what I decided to do. I'm still not finished, by the way. So my, what is this called? Um, you can't see it because my hair is in the way. You, you see the eyeball? I forgot what that's called. Um, conch. Conch. Or conch. Whatever. Conch. Conch. I don't care. It's not that deep. But that would have run me 100 bucks flat. I'm up to $875 in piercings, okay? I am messing up these numbers so bad. Oh my god. $845, not $75. Jeez. Uh, and then I got my industrial, and that is the last piercing that I have gotten, which also would have run me a hundred bucks flat. There we go. So far, I have spent nine hundred and forty-five dollars on piercings. Wait, I have spent. Oof, oof, it's me. Um, I have spent nine hundred. And $45 being pierced thus far and I say thus far because there's there's stuff that I still want to do like um, I want to get my forward helix pierced I would like a day piercing rook piercing those like ones that are like really in the ear I want it and I'm gonna do it eventually just not right now because it's a pandemic and it's really expensive like like it's expensive um but anyway yeah that's how much i have spent on piercings thus far and this is a low ball number because like some of these piercings like my tongue piercing was how long ago i got my tongue pierced in 2009 so my tongue was pierced 11 years ago when I say it costs $75, that is a big fat old guess. Just because at the time I was really interested in it and um, the way that people were pricing their uh, services before was 
lobes are 25 and then when you get to like cartilage like even here if it was cartilage they were charging 50 if you were getting to like a little bit more private areas a little bit more difficult areas like inside the mouth your nipples that was getting into more like seventy dollars and if you went like straight up genital that was when it was like hundred probably to get it done I have such an itchy face I don't know what's happening um, but anyway I spent a whole bunch of money being pierced. Um, I'm probably gonna do a tattoo video too. I'm gonna try and remember how much everything costs and then like come back and be like, this is how much it was when I got tattooed. But anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch everybody later. I holla at y'all. Bye. wondering how things